In this lesson, we'll be discussing titration using strong acids and strong bases. The question reads, a 50.0 milliliter sample of 0.200 molar sodium hydroxide is titrated with a 0.200 molar nitric acid. We're expected to calculate two things. The pH after adding 30.00 milliliters of HNO3, that's nitric acid, and the pH at the equivalence point. We'll discuss what those things mean in a moment. The first thing that I want to do is calculate the amount of moles of sodium hydroxide. And that's really easy to do. We have been given the information 0.200 molar. That's the same thing as 0.200 moles per liter. That's a concentration value. So by multiplying this concentration value to the liter version of this number, we end up with the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So I'll multiply this to 0 decimal 0.500 liters. The liters unit cancels out and we're left with the amount of moles. Now our final answer here should be three significant figures. Using our calculator, 0 0.200 times 0 0.0500 and we end up with 0 0.0100. Now, given that NaOH is a strong base, if we write out its dissociation equation, you'll end up with OH minus plus Na ions. Strong bases completely dissociate. So the amount of moles of NaOH is equivalent to the amount of moles of OH minus. And we need this for later when we calculate the pH. So the mole amount of hydroxide ions is the same thing as this. So I'll just write down OH minus. The next thing that I want to do is calculate the amount of HNO3 in moles. And to do that, I'll take the amount given here, the volume in liters, 0 0.0300 liters, and multiply it to its concentration of 0 0.200. The amount of moles represented by the letter N of HNO3 is equal to these two numbers multiplied and we end up with 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3, and we need this to three significant figures. So 6.00 times 10 to the power of negative 3 moles. Now I want you to picture this. As HNO3 is added to the solution, it neutralizes some of the hydroxide ions that were produced. So from here, we have to calculate the number of moles of hydroxide remaining by setting up a table, if you like, based on the neutralization reaction that shows the amount of OH minus before the addition and the amount left after the addition. Because remember, when a strong acid like HNO3 breaks down, you end up forming H3O plus plus NO3. Now, of course, you would have to add plus H2O here. So let's set up that table. We have OH minus being combined with H3 plus, and that's forming water. That's the product of mixing an acid and a base together. Of course, you would have two molecules of this, and it would be liquid. So before addition, I'll call that BA, we had this many moles of OH minus, and of course, none of these, so I'll just write down approximately zero. And after the addition, after addition, the amount of H3 plus will neutralize the OH minus. So I'll subtract this amount from this. Let's do that. 0 0.0100 minus the answer before. And now we have 4.00 times 10 to the power of negative 3 OH minus and no more H3 plus remaining. So I'll write down zero. Now that we have this number, we can start to find the pH. To find the final concentration of OH minus, we divide the amount of OH minus remaining, which we just found, by the total volume, which involves the initial volume plus the added volume. So the OH minus concentration, the one that we'll use to substitute into this formula, let me show you really quickly, is equal to this number, 4.00 times 10 to the power of negative 3 over the volume of 0 0.0500 liters plus the volume here of 0 0.0300. And this is the amount of moles. So we end up with 
4.00 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 divided by the volume and we end up with a concentration of 0 0.0500 0 0.0500 molar of OH minus. I'm going to go ahead and substitute that right into there. So we have negative log of the previous output. We get POH is equal to that number. And now using this formula, pH plus POH is equal to 14. I'll substitute this into there and rearrange for pH. So 14 minus 1.301, and that's equal to 12.70. 12.70, we're rounding to two significant figures after the decimal place because that's what the question asked for. That right there represents the pH. Moving on to question B, the pH at the equivalence point. In case you don't know, the equivalence point occurs when the amount in moles of added acid equals the amount in moles of base initially in the solution. At the equivalence point, the strong base has completely neutralized the strong acid. So the concentration of hydronium ions, H3O+, from the autoionization of water is 1.00 times 10 to the power of negative 7, and the pH at this point is equal to 7. So the answer here is a pH of 7.00. And there you have it. That is what happens when you titrate a strong acid with a strong base.